Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. In this video we're going to be unboxing the GAN 11M Duo and a YJ timer. So I'm going to be starting with the GAN 11M Duo. So if you guys don't know the GAN 11M Duo is basically the GAN 11M Pro but with some changes. So as you can see they are pretty similar as for the boxes but the GAN 11M Pro comes with an option of frosted plastic with black or primary internals. Well the GAN 11M Duo only comes with primary internals for now. All right, we get the same cube station beginner tutorial for $5. And we get the basically GAN 11M Pro box with a, an accessory box. So in here we should have everything that came with the GAN 11M Pro. So we get a nice GAN bag, tensioning tools, a manual where it explains everything that you can do with the cube. And finally, a tutorial on how to solve a 3x3. Now we got the same stuff with the GAN 11M Pro. Except with the GAN 11 and Pro, we also got this box. And this box had the tensioning tool, like the one we have in this bag. We also got like extra magnets, so if in case we wanted to change something. And it also came with a screwdriver to adjust the magnet strength here. Now let's take a look at the cube. So we get the typical GAN new type of box, which we press here in the back and we open. And here is the GAN 11M Duo. First turns. Okay, so one thing I can directly notice is the magnet strength. It is not a strong strength for the magnets as I have my GAN 11 m Pro with the second hexagon magnets which are supposed to be stronger with option number two. And this has, let's say, a option number two triangular magnets on the GAN 11 m Pro. So the magnet strength is not that weak and it is pretty good for the performance of the cube. The cube turns well and I'm really impressed on how fast it turns out of the box that is. So the cube is a little dry out of the box but its performance is really good and there's nothing much to say about the magnets as I think it is just the right strength. There's no need to add magnets even though you don't have the option to add magnets. Now let's take a look at the interior. So this is the corner piece and as you can see I have the hexagon magnets on the GAN 11M Pro and you can also adjust them using this lever over here. Well with the GAN 11 and Duo we do not get that switch to switch the strength of the magnet. Now for the cubes as you can see they are pretty much the same from the inside so they still have the magnetic core inside with the magnet that attaches to the corner magnet to keep the cube stable when you turn and we also get that same feature on the GAN 11 and Pro except it's hard to see because it has black internals. Now for the edge pieces they are the same we still have the same design on both of them and there's nothing that changes. Now if we remove the center cap we can see that the GAN 11 and Duo has the same features as the GAN 11 and Pro. So in the end, the only difference we have is just the corner magnet where you can change the corner magnet strength on the GAN 11 and Pro, but you cannot change the corner magnet strength on the GAN 11 and Duo. And because of that, we have the GAN 11 and Duo in a lighter body than the GAN 11 and Pro. So it is smoother to turn and really good. Now the GAN 11 Duo is the lightest speed cube ever made and that is the only reason I prefer it over the GAN 11 M Pro. So if you guys don't like the option where you can change the magnets on the GAN 11 M Pro, buy this cube because it is $18 less and even less if you use my discount code CUBEMAN at checkout at PyCube Shop. If you own a GAN 11 M Pro and you want a lighter GAN 11 M Pro, get the GAN 11M Duo. If you don't own both and want to go for the cheaper and lighter option, go for the GAN 11M Duo. But if you really want to change magnets, then you can go with the GAN 11M Pro. Now, if both cubes are identical, I assume the corner cutting should be the same. Let's test it out. So with the GAN 11M Pro, we can get to a nice 45 degrees or a bit less, and it can corner cut with no effort. And if we try 45 degrees, it still can. Now reverse corner cutting on the GAN 11M Pro. With the GAN 11M Duo, let's test it out. 45 degrees. Okay, further. Okay, so it has a bit more corner cutting than the GAN 11M Pro and maybe because I switched some settings in the center cap. But out of the box, the corner cutting of this is way better than the corner cutting on the GAN 11M Pro. Now, last thing we have here is the YJ timer. So the only timer that I owned was this YJ pocket timer and it does well but sometimes due to the light and the sensors you just 
see just start it like that due to the light it sometimes doesn't start and that's why i got the yj timer so for this we have two options there's the gray color and the black color so i went with the black color on the yj timer Okay, so we get the timer and we get instructions, but everything is in Chinese. So if you can read Chinese, it's a bonus for you. Now the timer. Okay, so the design of the timer is really nice and it has sort of like the same surface as the YJ bucket timer. So I added the batteries and I noticed that in the back we have these tiny little grips which don't let the timer slide easily on the table. And let's see if it turns on. Okay, so we have the power button on the right and we turned it on. So let's see how it does. We have the green light. And then we can go ahead and stop it. This allows you to save your time. So you can save multiple times on this and you can check your average of five and average of 12 if you press this button the button in the middle allows you to save your solves so you have like three to five slots i believe and down here is the reset button for when you're done solving so yeah the timer is pretty accurate and i really like this timer uh it is not that expensive like other timers which are around 30 dollars this is only 12 dollars on pycube shop so if you guys are looking for a cheap reliable and really good puzzle you can just go ahead and grab this that's all for the video guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't the winners will be announced in future videos thank you to pycube shop for sponsoring this giveaway and as always i'll see you guys next time